Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the horror novel Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. This book vacillates back and forth between two time periods. The first is a young woman in the States named Mallory. She finds out that she's unexpectedly pregnant by a man she's not particularly interested in. And at the same time, reports are starting to surface, beginning in Russia, where people are suddenly going mad, sometimes killing other people, but inevitably always killing themselves off in the end quite quickly in very horrific ways. This starts to spread pretty quickly throughout the country and a lot of people are non-believers and say, you know, it's just people who are themselves personally going crazy, just psychotics, and other people believe that people are seeing something, it just takes a second, seeing something outside, no one knows what it is, and that is making them go mad. So a lot of people are walking around with eye masks covering up their windows, and eventually it gets to the point where Mallory feels the need to move into this kind of safe house with five other people. So then the other time period is four years in the future. Mallory is alone in a house with two four-year-old children, one boy and one girl. Their names are just boy and girl, and she tells the children that today is the day they will finally go down the river, meaning they are going to put their blindfolds on and blindfolded canoe down the river. I think it takes place in Michigan. You're not sure where they're going or why, but it's terrifying. So if you saw my January wrap up, you will know that to say the least, with the books I read, I was not happy with some of them. Some were just downright terrible. So reading Bird Box at the beginning of February was a great way to start off my reading month. I'm very happy to say that I loved this book. Everyone told me I would, but I hadn't read a really good horror novel in a long time, so I kind of made my expectations very low. One of the things that's done so well in this book is the pacing going back and forth between the two time periods. You're not sure how either segment of the time periods is going to end, even though you kind of have an idea. The chapters are sometimes very short, sometimes quite a bit longer, but they always feel like they're just the right length. I get really irritated when it feels like the author's made it a point to just blindly make every chapter, say, four or five pages. This one, every chapter just felt like it was the perfect length. I was expecting this book to be scary and expecting it to be a page turner and a lot of fun because the main thing people say about this book is that they flew through it. It's a little under 300 pages, I think, but most people have said I read this in like one sitting or one day. So I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting the writing to be as good as it was. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. One of the things I found so fascinating, particularly with the half of the book where it's the children and Mallory in this canoe going down the river is that whenever there is description in a book, generally it's all visual when you think about it. But in this case, as they're all blindfolded, all of the description is either auditory or physical and that just makes it all the more creepy and it was really, really well done. And I think the buildup of fear and how uncomfortable you feel in this book and just how scary it is is easily the best part. I wouldn't say that I'm like brave in any way that matters, like a day-to-day -day sense, but you guys know I read a lot of horror novels, I watch a lot of horror movies, so in that sense it does kind of take a lot to freak me out, but this book really did. For instance, Mallory is always telling boy and girl, what do you hear, what do you hear, and the children have been trained by her to be able to tell exactly what sounds they hear outside, whether it's an animal, a leaf falling to the ground, etc. So like when so like when one of the kids, say for instance, doesn't know what the sound is and they start to freak out immediately or just like, what is it? There's also, of course, a ton of psychological fear. There's fear surrounding when Mallory's living in the home with its four other men and one woman, or three other men and one woman. There's that fear where obviously tensions start to run quite high when they're, st when they're trapped in this house for such a long period of time with groups dividing and you not only being scared of what it is that's outside but what it is that's inside. One other small thing I liked about this book was there wasn't any unnecessary like over-the-top cheesy romance just like thrown into the book for no reason. So not seeing that in this case was a nice surprise. I do wish it was just a tiny tiny bit longer but I would highly recommend Bird Box. If you want to read a really fast page Based, creepy and just very very unique horror novel. I would highly recommend it. I think I gave this four or four and a half out of five stars. If you have any other horror novels you'd recommend to me or anyone else, make sure to put them down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!